Ooh, I haven't, you know, I've seen this card a lot. I had never played with it. Evolve Sleeper. It's a great start. All right. Definitely makes us want to play solid black. The fact that this third power has a uh, two black mana. So we're going to be happy to have heavy black if we want to play Evolve Sleeper. Uh, the fact that we can go ahead and just draw cards with them and pump this up is awesome. I've seen this also a lot in standard, by the way. Although, hold on a second. Ooh, this is a tough pick, man. Am I going to pass up a Wing Mantle Chaplain for the Evolved Sleeper? Oh my god. I actually don't know what to do here. I think I gotta go with Wing Mantle Chaplain, dude. Ugh, this hurts. I want to play with this Evolved Sleeper so badly. But Wing Mantle Chaplain is just a freaking... Oh man, I can't pass up Wing Mantle Chaplain. I can't. I can't. I've always wanted to like, I've always wanted to build around the Like I have played with Wing Mantle Chaplain, I think like once. And it's awesome. It really is awesome. And now that we have Shield Wall Sentinel, the reason why Wing Mantle Chaplain is so good, first of all, you are obviously able to create 1-1 one, one, uh, bird tokens. But then you can search for it with Shield Wall Sentinel, right? So the worst case scenario for Wing Mantle Chaplain is you get an 03 plus a 1-1 one, one flyer body, but that's that's just the floor. If I, you can pack this with Shield Wall Sentinels where you can actually search for defenders, you get like four walls down, and then you put down Wing Mantle Chaplain, you get five 1-1s, one, right? And guess what? This Clockwork Drawbridge is probably gonna wheel, and uh, it also keeps me open to five colors. So I'm looking for like the black defender. I'm looking for things like Academy Wall in blue. I'm looking for the green um, O2 uh, there as well. Okay. Why is, hold on a second here. I need to check my, why is my display so big? That's weird. I'll check it later. Okay, third pick, uh, we'll go destroy evil. All right, destroy evil I think is, is the right pick here. Uh, I also want to Urborg re repossession because it, what's also great is that if you kill the wing mantle chaplain and then you bring it back, you can make even more like one ones. So I'm hoping that's gonna wheel. Of course, we already have an Urborg repossession now. There's also the drawbridge. I have a feeling this will wheel, but we'll see. Uh, what else could we pick here? Um, not much else. I think I want to go with the Urborg. <sighs> Other cards that we could pick up. Maybe green with Colossal Growth. I mean, the only chance I see ourselves not getting this drawbridge is if someone else got a Wing Mantle Chaplain. So, we'll see. In the meantime, I want to fix this display. I don't know why my screen suddenly is so big. Why is this picture all off for some reason? Anyways, I'm worrying about it too much. Okay, next pickup. All right. Part of me wants to just grab the land. I mean, I could also go Elfame Worm. It's a really good green card. You know, it's, it's a good top end, but part of me wants the flexibility uh, because Defender and Domain tend to go together. I think I'm just going to stay flexible with the land, I guess. I don't think, I don't think either of these would be a bad play. Okay, um, next pick up. Ooh, so there are two green cards I would love to get. Sunbathing Root Walla goes great with the uh, Domain. <sighs> Part of me wants to get a Vine Shaper Prodigy, though. Um, Root Walla tends to be a big target, which is good, but I think my priority is to grab cards. So I think I'm gonna I'm going to like weigh the Prodigy a little bit higher here. I hate to pass up two lands, especially the blue white land, to help you know cast the white. But I think Vine Shaper Prodigy I think is a good enough card. Um, to take over the lands. And there's Telerian Geyser. Holy moly. This is such a great common. Just bounce, right? Just get tempo. Get them to delay, delay, delay. Uh, we would love to at least get one heroic charge here. 
you can play with a ton of Slayerian geysers. It, it just, you know, and you just keep gaining life, you know, um, force the opponent to, to spend mana. Let's see, uh, Spartan Goblin's an interesting card to be able to grab land. I haven't, I think one of the decks I still haven't quite gotten into is like Gruel. I haven't figured out how that comes together yet. Okay, uh, so I think I want to go with Resolute Reinforcements because if I'm going to go now with like this 1-1 one, one strategy and this go wide, that would seem to be great with, uh, you know, uh, the two drops there. Big fan of Furious Bellow. If I'm going to go Domain, Maria's Outrider would also be great too. Okay, so pick nine. Interesting. So the drawbridge did not wheel. I don't think it. Yeah, I don't think it wheeled. Uh, I think grab another land. I guess I could get a furious below to get to get into red. I could also go automatic librarian. I mean, the scry two is no joke, but I think I need to prioritize land here. Could rare draft, but no, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and get black green. So for the herborg repossession. Have the black, and then I can also kick it. I wish I could rare draft, though. It's nice to get three rares, but nope. Guys might also would work out, too. I could go Deathbloom Gardener if I'm going to go that many colors. I guess that's probably the pickup. Yeah, and, and just the flexibility. I mean, that the fact you can play in any deck. The only problem is that it's three mana. Okay, so we aren't seeing the Clockwork Drawbridges come back, so we are going to need to prioritize getting our own defenders. Uh... All of these are kind of crap here. I guess Colossal Growth. And there's a Librarian, sure. And we get our third green-blue land. Okay. Ooh, okay. I love Aether Channeler. But we have a Walking Bulwark here. And this just makes our defenders attackers. Um, I, 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 we can't afford for this to pass here. I'm hoping that people have enough drawbridges and they didn't get their own um, wing mental chaplains to get this, but uh, I think we need to get this. Oh, I love this Aether Channeler, though. That's such a great card. Uh, other pickups we can also get to, uh, I think the Phalanx will work well because we're just going to have so many creatures. Would also love to see this uh, dual land pass up. Academy Wall could also uh, wheel as well. So a lot of options here, but we need to get the Bulwark here to really make the Defender deck go. Okay. We could... Okay, so, so here are options here. Like, Artillery Blast could work. We could also do Tachova. This is a bomber, but there's also Frost Rider. This is a really tough pick. I think I go with Tachova. Because then those give us multiple options. Uh... So that our lands can become attackers, the Wing Mental Chaplain will get the 1-1s one -ones with attackers, and I think it just gives us a really nice uh, balance here. So if we go, say, like, Core White Green, Splash Blue and Splash Black, I think that's where we want to be. I guess a safer pick could be Strider, but I think I want to I wanna push the, um, the top end. Where the heck did my... Where did it go? What happened to... I picked it, right? You saw I picked it. Um, is anyone watching? <laughs> I, I swore he picked it. Did it become like a uh, land or something? I guess there's some kind of glitch. Uh, okay. Coalition. Uh, we could do Sojourner. If we're gonna go domain, there's also sleeper if we wanna get two drops, or we grab you know what? This is tough. I don't I wanna I wanna have at least one heroic charge. It's probably not the right pick, but but I what the Okay, what's going on? What the hell's going on here? I'm trying to explain to my to my chat what I want. Okay, I'm gonna get the land here. I would love what Okay, what the heck is going on here? All right, don't pick for me. Chat, um, captain's call or impulse? I guess captain's call to go wide. Oh, 
Oh, it became a death bloom. Wait, hold on. What the hell did my card pick? Where did my, uh, all right, we're gonna, I, I have this recorded. We're gonna report this to WOTC. Gotta make sure that my Tachiova is wild. Cause if I, if I miss out on seven wins because I didn't get my Tachiova, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay. I think the, f ooh, this is tough. Phalanx? Protect the Negotiators is a really good, um, is a really good counter spell. I would love Tala's Lookout. That's a great card, but I don't know if I want to go like double blue. I think I, let's play it safe. Let's go with the Phalanx. I could also do Stall for Time as well. Let's go with the Phalanx. Okay, there's Artillery Blast. There's also this, the Tura. Tura is good, but I think I want to get some removal to be safe. So, yeah, I need to get some removal just to make sure. Okay, Runic Shot is perfect if we're going to be delaying. <sighs> oh, but am I going to be passing up these lands? Let's get the removal. Let's get the removal. Do I want to go to the second Phalanx? Okay, I need to check my my, my curve here. Alright, so my, my curve seems okay. But mm, I should still could probably get some two drops, but I think the Phalanx will still be good here. I could be overdoing it. Okay, I want to get the Cavalier over the second artillery blast. Uh just to get more bodies down. So let's take a look at the removal I have. See, I don't know if I'm playing the Colossal Growth. Okay. Mm. Okay, so here's what's interesting. Let's go with the Griffin Protector, because we get 1-1s. One I noticed that all the defenders are gone. Here. Like, I was hoping, like, the defenders would wheel. We have not seen any other defenders that we've let go. Dang it, and I let go of the captain's call. All right, we'll just have to do the root walla. That's not bad, uh, that's not a bad consolation prize. We can actually play Juniper Order because we're going to have green. But we only have the Bulwark, the Chaplain, and the Shield Wall Sentinel. We currently only have one blue black splash. The thing is, I have to remember that I do have a Tachova. I have to remember that. Okay, this rare, eh. If played, it's okay. Prayer of Binding, though, is pretty awesome. That's pretty good removal. Although there's a second Bulwark. Okay. So what do I want? Do I want to, like, try to go more Defender? No, I think I, I, think I get the removal. I'll try to get more Defenders later on. I think, I, even though it's at 4, I think it, it's too good of a removal. Hmm. Why not? Sure. Even though it's probably not necessarily the best card in this deck, because uh, I don't really have that many green permanents. But... It's a it's a rare. Probably if I were smart, if I were the if I were the if I were the responsible drafter, I'd probably get one of the white cards here, the caval cavalier or the blast. But I haven't had any rares in a while. Give me a rare. Another Talarian geyser. I'm happy with that. I will run as many Talarian geysers. As I will, please. Thank you very much. Although this does put more pressure on blue. But I think Talarian Geyser is that good. Well. Oh, shoot. Okay. Citizen's Address or Vine Wall? I think I need to get the Vine Wall. Citizen's Address is a great removal spell. I love it. Vine Wall, though, helps us get land. And that's going to be critical. So we're getting the Vine Wall. It's another Defender. I could get an Academy Wall. Or I get the land. I think I get the land here. 
Uh, it helps that the land, I think, will be more useful. You know, it's hard to get, like, this blue up. So let's grab that. And green-white is in both our colors. Another wing mantle chaplain, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Man, if I do not get seven wins, I am going... I... Man, I might have to turn in my magic card. <laughs> this this is ridiculous, dude. But watch, I'm gonna watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this, and then uh, hold on a second. Like, uh, do I just get another destroy evil? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna play this, and then I'm gonna get swept twice with that like black minus one minus one card. I just I just have this gut feeling, like. Sometimes when you just have it like too good, like, you know, you don't realize like how unbalanced your deck is and you just have just screwed this up. Okay, uh, another Resolute Reinforcement. So we're gonna go really wide. The Bulwark, the Bulwark wield, finally a Defender wheeling. Oh boy. All right, let's not screw this up. Don't screw it up, Randy. Artillery Blast. Yeah. Rootwalla. Sure. All right, finally, we're getting going to have like a Domain Defender deck that pretty much has in a second heroic charge just for good measure. The one thing I probably say, I actually kind of wish I had, uh, I wish I did have like a red splash. I think the only way I can get red is through the Deathbloom Gardener. I don't even know if I can run this many artillery blasts, to be honest. How many green permanents will I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. That might be worth it. I don't think the Colossal Growth will matter. Oh, let me get rid of the island too. 32. This is a decent top end. I really like Griffin Protector in the air, especially when you get a ton of tokens. So this, this Protector is just going to get pumped up to the wazoo. Uh, you know, after a Captain's Call, after a Wing Mantle Chaplain, after any time we're just going to get a flood of... of uh, uh, flyers. I think the automatic librarian. I think this is a good filler card, but we really don't need it. With this many artillery blasts, I kind of like artillery blast better than runic shot, uh, just because uh, I like instant speed better than sorcery speed. I don't even know if you can run this many blasts here. Okay, this might be a huge mistake. But I'm thinking about cutting the geysers and just, uh, that hurts really bad, but it's going to make the mana a lot simpler because now the only card that requires blue is Tachova. Um, and I only need to rely uh, blue on like kickers. So like something like Vine Shaper Prodigy. I think that's the right call. Juniper Root Weaver is okay, but just to get a plus one plus one counter isn't really all that i think i get rid of one root walla i think i get rid of the death loom gardener that's gonna make this tough because this could be a dead card in hand we'll see how it works let's take let's get the land Okay, so we're gonna get all those. So actually, how, many, how many do we have? Three? Oh my god! Like we have, wow, we have like five blue sources here, and that's without any islands. Like we could run the geysers. Actually, uh, gosh, this makes me want to run the geysers again. I think we run the geysers again. Now we got to get rid of two other cards, maybe throw a charge so that we don't have the double white, because that really does feel like a win more. And 
maybe one of the phalanx? So we would have six blue. We have two white. I'm just going to make up some numbers up. Four. Four white, say one black. So one swamp. And then six green. Let's see what that looks like. What's our breakdown? Wow, 13, 3, 5, 1. I don't even think we need that much green. Okay. Yeah, shoot. We have like three green. Three, four, five. We have five green sources. What the hell? Like, our mana is like wild. The only trouble here is that we could we the, the danger here is that we get steamrolled with this many tap lands, right? That's a danger. But our mana is awesome, right? Because here we have three, four, five. This would be eight green sources. Five, six, seven white sources. Should we can't. We need to have more white sources. We have 13 white cards here. So we have to have at least eight. We might even go nine. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven green sources. I should go six, because I want to go nine. Nine white sources. Seven, nine white sources. Three, four, five, six green sources. Three black sources. I don't even think we need that three black. Let's go. Let's cut down to two black. There we go. And then we'll have enough blue, I think, as well. All right. Let's try to run this here. Let's hope we don't get steamrolled before we get our value going. Okay. Not bad. Keep the seven. And we got the possession already. Nice. Okay, cool. You want to race? Let's race. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's try go again. Good. Okay, yeah, you want to shoot it? That's fine. Okay. I'm going to try to switch my screen up so you can see a little more. There we go. Now we, we got names. Okay, how much do I care about life? I don't think I care that much about life. I think I just want to bounce you. Yep, that works. Just so I can keep winning this race. Okay, now this is dangerous with trample. So I have to be very careful here. Yeah, I have to be very careful here. Dang it. Okay. So now they're winning this race here. That's going to hit for five. That's going to be painful. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the blast here, so we'll go ahead and blast you. Just want to make sure I have enough. I always have to double check here. I gotta feel better about this. One, two, three, four, right? Yeah. Five, actually. There you go. Okay, yeah. I need to play defense right now. I do have an Urborg repossession ready. So in case I do need to hold up, I can. Okay. Oh, interesting. Wait. Oh, yeah, I can't block. And they can pump? No, they can't. Wait. Type 1's a turn. So this will be like a 5-3, right? I guess I'm going to have to take it. Yeah, this is, this is dangerous here. I'm in dangerous territory. Nice. Get to draw. Ooh, boy. Oh, man, I want to attack so bad. I wonder if I can. Wait, so this can't... So when it is attacks... Target can't block this turn. So I can't even block this anyway, right? So I have to attack. And I just have to hopefully be able to like take this out. I have a resolute reinforcements. Take out the firebrand, possibly. I wonder what there is interesting. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, they'll have to block with everyone. How do I get life back? That's the thing. I'm regretting not, not kicking that Telerian geyser right now. I think I do leave this back. If it makes the Radha attack, that's fine. But then this can just attack twice, right? And then I'm just kind of dead anyway. I think I, I think I need to be aggressive. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering why they did that. Couldn't they have like just killed me? It's kind of weird. Um, well, let's get it back. Dang it. See, now I'm wishing I really had that heroic charge now. <laughs> oh, man. Regrets. I have a few. I need to go wide. Let's go.
Yeah, well, the problem is this attacker right here is that I need to take care of this firebrand because it stops one of my blockers. It'll stop my flyer. Um, this is where, you know, you know, maybe in the draft I probably could have uh, picked up the clockwork because this is this is a situation where the clockwork would have really, like, I think shined here. But if they have anything that can give trample to any of these, then I'm also going to be dead as well. Yeah, the herb work also allowed me to gain two life, so that was cool. So you prevent me from blocking with that, right? Okay. Is there anything that they provide that would able to like trample? I can't think of anything, right? Okay. How much would this be? Four. One, two, three, so, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I lose on the crack back, right? So wait, one, two, three, four, this will be a six. All right, I think this is fine. I'm gonna leave two back. Wait, will I have enough to both pump? Two, three, four. I don't have enough to pump. I should count. One, two, three, four, three. I don't have enough to pump, unfortunately. Huh. Well, if they're only blocking with that, they probably have something to take care of this, right? I think I attacked with one too many because I can't. No. Can't attack. Yeah, that's it. They got me. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, I attacked with one. What's sad is I attacked with one too many. If I had left one back, I could have survived that. I was trying to get more board presence there, which is why I didn't get the life. I thought I was going to be okay. But the Radha, that's the first time I've actually faced Radha before. So good to know. Okay, we got our chaplain. Have some ways of destroying creatures, so this looks pretty good. Okay. Are you facing another red-white deck? Kind of. Vanquisher's Axe, okay. Hmm. Let's play reinforcements on their turn. Already, this is gonna do the, the artillery blast does four damage, which is nice. Ooh, sweet. Two bulwarks. Which means if we get one more land. We're gonna get three one ones on the fly. And it's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay. 
they're gonna put on the axe. No, they can't. They can't even approach the axe. There. Okay. Do what? Do I? Do I geyser you? Ah, oh, there's one time I really kind of don't want to geyser. I guess I'm just gonna hold. Or I could. Um, I could also are, are giving Cavalier myself here if they equip the Vanquisher's axe. That's not really a two they're gonna get. Let's just go wide here. If if they're willing to trade, that's fine. I don't think I need to hold anything up right now. I am jealous of their land though. Nice to get some land drops. Okay, you're gonna attack and then keep yourself open. No trample, please. Not even if it did it, I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Yeah, that... That's gonna gain a ton of life. That's annoying. But... Not bad. Come on, folks. I need to draw. Ugh. Actually, no. He'll do. Uh, bye-bye. You can die. Sure. Get some of that damage back. What's cool is I can now bounce that token too as removal. You, your land's what I need. You say RNG is just a friend. Let's bounce you. Yep. <sighs> Yuppers. Yeah, kill it! Kill it! Take out that 1-1. One, one. Take out all your anger in that 1-1. One, one. Ooh, look what it did to you. Let's attack first. Now, what's funny that here's what could wipe out these one ones. There is one um, sorcery that people hardly play. Fine, I don't care. I get the one ones anyway. Um, is that will do one damage to all my creatures. That would be disaster. Uh, that's it. I want to get the I want to get the vine wall down. Actually, I should have gone the vine wall down first, shouldn't I? Because I wanted I should have checked to see like what land was there. I should I should have done this. This is a mistake. Because if it had been an untapped land, I could have also brought in the other bulwark as well. Well, since uh, I don't have it up anyway, I might as well get to get the tap land. Oh, I couldn't put it down anyway. Duh. Now they need a. S okay, I'm just trying to think. Are there any like red sweepers, white sweepers? Does not look like it. One. Oh yeah. Send them in. Yikes. Oof. Let's see, what did a wise man once say? Sometimes you are the windshield and sometimes you are the bug. We saw good power of that deck. Okay, this is scary now.
I have no white, but I have a Vociferous Wine Wall, and I have options for Terrier and Geyser. I think that's a key. Scary. But we could get into some big trouble quick if we do not get land. So. Oh, yes. Okay, good. We are not in trouble. Let's get the white down now. Just to make sure we have all our colors. Okay, there's no reason I need to... Yeah. Get black yet, so that's fine. Ooh. Okay. I can kill it with a with, uh, surprise block. Here, so that'll be fine. Look at the tap land down, say go. Perfect. Bulwark here. I think I put the Bulwark down, and then I can... You know what? I'm just gonna destroy evil now. I'm not gonna waste time. I don't want any, like, uh... Take up the thingy protector going down. I can play Phalanx next turn if there's nothing... Worthy of bouncing? Oh yeah, that's worthy of bouncing. Bounce with me, bounce with me. Boop, 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 boop. Bounce with me, bounce with me. You take that back. Okay, so let's think here. Oh yeah, and then I can get in for two. Or get in for uh, three. <sighs> and I can artillery blast you. Oh yeah, no I can't artillery blast you because uh, it will never get tapped, unfortunately. And then check this out. Uh, if they ever decide... Ooh, that's good. Okay, that I can blast. Okay, so part of me wants this to attack, so then I can artillery blast it later. So I think maybe I captain's call to make the phalanx cheaper. And we'll just say go. That's fine. Got it down. Okay, no protection, please. exactly what I wanted you to do. Let's see, is there anything else that I want to grab? No, I won't. I'll grab it later. I want to I want it to be a nice surprise. <laughs> More bodies for you. One top, four bottom. What could be that top? <sighs> I 
Let's see. Mm. Let's just attack now so that they think I have a trick. I hope they don't have the, the protection thing to gain life. That would be a shame. Okay, that's fine. You overkill it, whatever. Creature card? Oh yeah, and you coming back too. Have fun. God, this card's so brutal, dude. So brutal! Okay. That life linker is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to blast it. this too. Alright, so I guess I just send the birdies. No life for you! Oh, nice! So you are gonna get some life. You have something extra? Do you have another trick? That's quite a that's quite a turn. Uh, okay, so if they block this and they block this, I could do six, six, eleven, fourteen. That's enough. We send everybody. I have eight mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I do. You, you get to attack. You get to attack. You get to attack. Let's make sure. You get to attack. You get to attack. So unless they, so unless they don't have any tricks, this should do it. What's funny is like, yeah, the danger of this deck is is uh basically just attacking like like if you like if you just screw up your attacks, if you screw up your attacks, like you can totally mess yourself up. Oh, uh, we finally see our first appearance of Tachova. Okay. Let's get to seven land and our first appearance of the Defiler, which we could play on curve if we wanted to. 
We want land. We want land. Lots of land in the starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Ah, man of culture, I see. Or woman of culture. Whoever is on the other side. Okay. Sunbathing root walla. All right, I think we can hold here. Yeah, we'll hold. Three open mana. I don't want I don't want them to get um to counter a defiler. Let's get the shield wall down. If they counter the shield wall, I don't mind it. Okay, they didn't have anything. Yeah, we're not wasting time. I want to get Wing, Mantle Chaplain, Defiler of Vigor, and then the Tachova. Because then if the Defiler of Vigor comes out, we can spend four life to get the Tachova out, and then the, the all the birds are going to get plus one, plus one counters. Ooh, ouchie. Ouchies. I see birdies! Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I also have to be careful here too, because I want the Tachova to come down uh, before I put down my land. Nice. It's cheap. More. That is not a land? Yeah, not yet. Crap. Oh, mommy. No, no sweepers, please. That is a lot of dudes. No sweepers, please. No sweepers. I just want to land. Oh my! That's nice. Well, that's how you're going to play it. They're like, hey, you think you can get some uh, creatures down there? We can do it too. So what they have to be careful about there is on their attack that they don't die on the crack back. And I just need one land. I really just need one land and they're in trouble. Five, six. Six, 
12. I get like 16, but I might die on the crackback. Oh, I can only spend one mana? Just two life. Boo. Oh, and I can't even cast it. And this has trample. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait till next turn. Oh, I'm gonna have to be very careful here. Oh man. Can I afford to cast two? can't count. This is, this is too much math! Oh god. Uh, okay. So, four times two is eight. Eleven. I need six to get across. One, two, three, four, three, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, Shoot, they have eight blockers. Four, five, six, seven. I don't have enough. Four, five, six, seven. Well, I have all these blockers here, right? I want to hold one back. So the dangers is I need to make sure that the lands are blocked and I need to make sure that the ancients blocked. So they did that so that they could make sure that they get a land. Because they want to land for the Tachova so that they can get an extra flyer. Monster, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Wow.
Missing blue, but we do get the first, the first one, vine wall on turn two, and a bunch of white plays, so sure. <laughs> it was a war of attrition. But man, that second... Uh... Why am I forgetting their names again? Uh, that second defense, that second chaplain, man. Ooh, boy, did that come in the clutch? Okay, so we're missing the thing that we need. So we already have a plains here. I guess we want the forest. So we have the second green. Yeah, when you can get it off, it's huge. Obviously, you want to get domain payoffs, and it's an expensive card. But, man, I mean, you're trying to face off a bunch of 3-3s. Three it's like, yuck. Great. Good thing we had that green source there. We still don't have our blue for Geyser. Nothing. Okay. See if the call resolves. No negates. Wider, wider, make it wider. Uh, dang it, it's a three-three. And the thing is, we don't care. We will go ahead. We will sack one to take to give four damage, and they did not block. Very well. I think maybe they were scared of uh, a trick, but I'm trying to think, what would, like, would they be worried about, like, a colossal growth? Okay. Alright. Amphelia. Okay. Nice. Ooh, sold wind grades. That was a that was a very nice soul of wind grace. No, no, uh, that was nice. Uh, I think I hold because I want to go wider. I think that's better than having the root walla. And besides, I want to save the root walla to be able to put counters with the vigor if it becomes available. Well, do they have a herd migration? <laughs> like, okay. Nice. Wider! Wider! Yeah, I'll attack to give you four. Actually, no, wait. Let me cast this down so I get the discount. So they have to take care of four, five, six, seven lethal threats. And they get life. Okay. They be biting. Okay. Cool. GG. Facing Diamond. 
Man, we have not had problems with, with like, mana. Have we? gonna trot out the land. Great. Dang, Tachova got sent down to the bottom though. That's kind of sad. Ooh, okay, that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bounce that uh token. That annoying token. Hopefully they don't get another creature to put that plus x plus x on though that's really it that plus x plus x is so irritating dang it they do that's not nice so it's gonna get to uh, what plus three plus three um we're gonna we're gonna have the we're gonna get a little tempo advantage here so I think this is fine. Wow. Really? You don't want you don't want to boost up your your token, get some damage in? All right. Take that trade any day of the week. Yeah. And uh you're getting bounced. Let's go. Okay. All right. So there's a part of me that doesn't want to trade that. Because I kind of don't want you to... Get, I don't want them to get the erg. I don't want them to get the urge. Ergses. Five. Power top is five or less. Okay, so I need to do this. Will this save it? Because it'll get more. Yeah, saved it. Make sure. Yeah, I'm not going to trade that just to get two extra damage in. And this is going to get pumped up. We're going to get one, two, three, four burbs with this pumped up. Maybe counter spell? That's fine. Actually, I don't mind that. Kill that too. Okay. That's cool. I just need to get a black source. Or I just send my defenders out.
Oh, they're 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 keeping up, man. They're keeping up. We're gonna spend a lot of mana to get a creature back. That's not gonna be enough, though. That is not enough. Oh, man, again, that was a good deck. <laughs> <We're> just... <sighs> All right, we don't have anything on board, but we do have ways of controlling the board until we get our, our stuff set up. Well, we can run out the Prodigy, too. Ooh, red, white. Okay. I see you. I see you. Can I have one block? Sure. was a good Defiler of Instinct. <sighs> I probably should have attacked, I realized. I had the mana. I don't know why I kept the Artillery Blast down. That was a mistake. I screwed that up. Yeah, I made a mistake there. Protect it. Yeah, that take up the shield is such a powerful card. <sighs> They're gonna get life back. They're gonna get damage back. We're actually in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, we are in a bit of trouble. trick, but... Oh, I can only activate it as a sorcery. Oh, it sucks.
I go four seven. But then they'll only pump this once, and then they pump this twice, and they'll kill both of these. But yeah. If he uses up their mana. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's. <sighs> I need two, four, five, six blockers to block everybody. This will be able to pump them plus everyone plus one plus zero. I can maybe get away with. Letting one go, like letting one Kavu go. So two, one, one, and then chump block everybody else. Might as well attack with one, I guess. Oh man, three, four, five. No, I have to block the Kavu because if they pump and then two, two, I'm dead, right? No, wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, I also be alive. Three, four. Yeah, I'll still be alive. No, because if they do plus three, it's gonna die. If they pump everyone, they'll this will get a three and then it can pump once for a four. Yeah. So instead they're deciding to take the blocker out. Because it's a bigger threat. And even this isn't gonna be enough. Uh because I can't even cast the chaplain. So, yeah, GG. And that's kind of the danger with a with a domain deck like this, though. Uh, it again, it just ends up being slow. Part of it's just because you have like the the tap lands, but uh, but those aggressive decks, the creatures are so cheap that the bouncing can only have so much value for you. All right, this looks pretty good here. Like it. Okay. Kind of want to get the bull workout now. If something comes down, part of me just wants to get the damage in. We are the aggro now. Nice. We are the aggro now. Oh no, oh, oh boy, they're in trouble. Oof. I am feeling for you. Oh man, I'm sorry Rebel Fox, man.
Here is your white source. What are you gonna pull, man? Spotted us a 14 life lead. Oy. second. Yeah, I'm so sorry, dude. Oof. You gotta fight bacon, man? I love bacon, dude. Why you gotta do that? All right, we got both our weak mantle chaplains. Uh, the scary part though is that this is low. It's uh, or it, it's really slow. We're gonna keep it, but I swear if we're gonna face a red white deck, like we're gonna be dead. <laughs> we're just gonna die. We might have to, we might have to throw out the Tachova um, to like chump block. Okay, good. We did not see it. Uh, blue, white? No, we want the green. We want the second green just to make sure in case we actually do need to run out that Tachova. Okay, are we facing like another domain? Domain y kind of decky here? Okay, I think that's worth bouncing. bounce it again. They're gonna have a ton of mana. Part of me doesn't. I think I just run out the chaplain now. They're gonna prioritize trying to get rid of this chaplain. Alright. Because if they have this much mana, I would rather bounce like something big that they have. Thing is, what's funny is it's not that big. So bouncing this is not that great. Okay, so this is a little scary. Uh, this thing does- oh, it does have trample. That's also what's scary about that creature here. Um... I could run out another Tachova. I kind of would rather though hold up the Blast, too. I kind of want to hold up this Blast to kill the kill the Brawler. I think I'd rather do that, and then I can like reinforcement next afterwards. So let's say go. Well, let's see if it works first of all. You know, because they could have, like, a shore up that could mess me up. They do not. Okay, good. I'll gladly take one. We won't take any chances there. I've got 22 more life where that came from. Okay.
I think I get the second chaplain out now. The rod, the, the, the Rulik is kind of scary, but I don't think it's scary enough. They have two mana. Okay. Yeah, I can get them both back. They will be doing quite a bit of damage to me. Ugh, gosh. Can I take that Tachova out, though? <sighs> they have one card. I'm kind of not scared of, like... I'm kind of not scared of just blocking that. Even if you take out my second wing mantle, that's fine. <sighs> yeah. Dang it. <sighs> that Tachova is going to be a pain. If I Tolarian that, they just put down the mountain and it becomes a 3-3 again. So that's not worth it. Part of me wants to bounce the Rulik. I'm at five mana now. I have my own Tachova. But I feel like I want to get more value. I think I Geyser. I Geyser you. Get some life back. Okay. I'm gonna root Walla. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Part of me wants to kill this Balduvan Berserker now, but then I won't have m mana to cast the Defiler. The Defiler is just too expensive. I think I still need the Defiler out, you know, in case I need to, like, block the Morrow. Oh shoot, the Tacho was tapped. This is my chance. I'm gonna take seven here. I think I do cast this. It's two green and a blue. But I need to spend the life. I wish I could have done it while while I could got the Wing Mantle Chaplain up, but I think I need the 7-7 seven, seven to block that Morrow. Six. 
So they have two Rulix. Oh no, that's a Radha, sorry. This is really scary because they can tap this. And part of me doesn't want to kill it. Like, I partly kind of want to just, I want the Blue Mantle Chaplain to die. And this doesn't have Trample yet, so I don't mind blocking here, blocking here. Wow. Dang it. Thing is, they're gonna attack so hard. So until we get the mana, we're just gonna have to hold. We're gonna have to do a lot of chumping. And this Berserker, man, I have not seen like a Berserker like do this much work before. I'm not going to pump that up for a while. Oh, jeez! They have a sweeper too? We're just not getting land, but we're getting blockers. Oh, I can't even block that. Well, they did way more with six lands than we could do with six lands. This is just sad. It's so sad. I'm just chump blocking. We were just short of our trophy. Just short. Uh, still an awesome deck, right? No doubt about it, right? Uh, I mean, what can you say about Wing Mantle Chaplain? When you're able to get it out and you get to that four mana spot uh, and they aren't able to deal with those defenders, it just overpowers with value, right? Um, how did we lose? Um, in most of the expected ways, we lost to Red White Aggro, right? Especially when we weren't able to, like, you know, when we were stuck with, like, 1-1s one -ones and the opponent had, you know, like, two toughness creatures, menace creatures like Kavu, 
you know, they'll just overwhelm the 1-1s one and they're just no good blocks and all the 1-1s one just get wiped out. Or we face a deck that has a sweeper, right? Uh, that last deck had both value and had sweeping and big creatures. So that's how uh, this deck loses, right? It, it just like basically we get put on our on our on our uh, hind feet. Our one ones don't get a chance to attack. Uh, we don't aren't able to get the value. We really need to actually hit those land drops, like getting to lands like five, six, seven. Um, Tachova really never got a chance to get going, to be honest. We were able to finish off that one, like, board state. Uh, I think it was, like, game four, game five, where Tachoga came in. Uh, but otherwise, Tachova really, you know, just never really got to shine that much. Teleron Geysers, though. I think uh, there's a lot to be said about that card. Well worth splashing. Being able to get the life and, uh, you know the three i feel like maybe we could have gotten that seventh win in game one had we just maybe gained that three life yeah poor tachova just got stuck at six land uh you know that kicker was worth it although even if you can't do the kicker like just being able to like bounce and draw the card and and get that tempo uh was really useful the bulwarks acted as like as like one card aggros a lot of the time and uh the defiler was just so beautiful whenever you were whenever you're able to just you know get you know that one just getting one green permanent after the the vigor uh was just awesome so awesome definitely part of me wants to run defiler in my standard decks just for giggles of like you know just you know going counter crazy these phyrexians love our plus one plus one counters so We'll play around with that. Anyways, we'll take six wins. It's better than zero, one, or two. So, pretty happy with that. Okay? So, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, please let me know how I can improve the content here, right? And how I can improve as a player. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.